So picking the right name for your barbershop is crucial. Whatever name you choose, it will stick with you for a long time and I would argue it is the most central part of your brand. Uh, and so a great way to, to do this is obviously to look at other barbershops and other similar type of businesses to get some inspiration. So in this video, I want to share what I think are the seven coolest barbershop names right now to give you some inspiration for your business. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg and I run the salonbusiness.com as well as this YouTube channel. And this is where I release the best ideas and strategies for how you can grow your barbershop business. And I release ideas just like what I'm sharing today every week. So if you're serious about growing your business, make sure you smash that subscribe button and the little notification bell. This way uh, you will not miss out when I share new videos. So when choosing a name for your barbershop business, there's a lot of different things that goes into that decision. But ultimately what's most important is your gut feeling and how you feel about the name and that it's something that is unique to you uh, and represents your barbershop in the right way. So obviously what I'm sharing is what I think are the coolest names, but it's highly subjective. But I still hope you can take that as some inspiration uh, when choosing the name for your salon. I will also include the link above here uh, to how to choose a good name for your salon. That goes through a bit more on the theory uh, and the steps that you should take to make sure you land on the name that is right for your specific business. But let's dive straight into the coolest barbershop names right now. So barbershop name number one, John's Barbershop or whatever your name is. No, but seriously, using your name uh, in your salon name or in your barbershop name, that's always a good idea because uh, it makes it unique to you. It makes it very personal. Um, it's commonly used for a lot of good reasons, but that's a very good option uh, when choosing a name for your barbershop. Obviously, John's barbershop is probably not so unique. Uh, actually, I hate that always when you, you know, fill out the form online. The suggestion is always like John Smith or, you know, that's like, it must be the most common name uh, or something. So that's probably doesn't make you very unique, but if you have a more unique name, then that can work very well for you. So barbershop name number two, uh, Rebel Rebel. Uh, I really like this one um, also because this is the type of name that really gives a feel for, you know, what that barbershop is about. It kind of creates a sense of belonging. You know, everyone wants to be a rebel or many wants to be a rebel. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know, using a name like that, that kind of sets the tone for the atmosphere and, you know, it, you create something that is something that people want to be part of. That's why I think that's a really cool name. So barbershop name number three, Nuka Barber. So Nuka, it means in Spanish, uh, back of neck or something like that, I think. And it's a smart thing to choose a different language or to take a word that somehow have something to do with what you do in the, in the barbershop and then translate it into a different language, especially if you have a different origin, maybe you're coming from a different country, like using that language uh, can make you know, your story part of your brand clearer and you know, it makes it unique. It's not many other barbershops that you would find with the same name. So having a play with different languages is also a smart idea uh, when coming up with a good name for your barbershop. So barbershop name number four, Frontman. I like this name also because it kind of feels forward looking, uh, it feels cool um, and modern and it's very easy when you try to come up with a name for your barbershop to fall into these more traditional old school names that a lot of barbershops are carrying. And I like this name because it gives a modern forward looking feel to that barbershop without you know, using these old school traditional cues. So barbershop name number five, Brooklyn Barbers. So what I really like with this is to use a location. It could be the location that the barbershop actually is in, or it could be something to do with your, with your story, uh, maybe where you went to school or to barber school or um, you know, where you're from or something like that. Um, that also is something that reinforces the story that you have. It also gives a bit of authority to the, to the barbershop. Uh, if you're based in Brooklyn and you're Brooklyn barbers, obviously that's like the barber in Brooklyn. I mean, it gives a bit of authority, but it could also be a good way to reinforce uh, the story of your barber. So barbershop name number six, The Loft. So this is really a name that is kind of using the setting of the barbershop, what the venue looks like. You know, another great way to make a name unique by introducing elements that actually are part of the brand and part of your barbershop. So if you have a specific type of location that is, you know, based in a loft, in a studio, in an attic or whatever that is, that could be also a smart way to introduce that into the name to make it unique to you. And barbershop name number seven, uppercuts. So this is kind of a play on the words, right? Um, I don't know, I'm typically not a massive fan of it, I would say, but uh, you know, that it is a smart thing. Like if you use humor in the brand name or in your barbershop name, it makes the name more memorable um, and it can work really well and something that uh, you, know, you should certainly explore 
what you should be careful about when you use humor in the name is if you're trying to achieve kind of a premium perception or a you know luxury image of your barbershop then humor can be a little bit more difficult to use in the name uh, but sometimes it works really well and it makes people remember your barbershop and remember your your brand better okay so that was my seven top uh, barbershop names um, i have a list of over 200 names on my blog as well so i'll leave a link to that in the description because um, if you're right now trying to come up with a good name for your barbershop, it's a good idea to just like go through those as you brainstorm, look through different, different alternatives uh, so that you really land on a name that feels right for you. But remember, what is a good name? It's a name that is unique to you. It's a name that you feel good about. Um, so, you know, take your time. It's an important decision. But look through some inspiration. Check out the link that I'm leaving in the link below. I also have this other video that I'm going to link to above. Uh, where you can go through the different steps that I'm recommending in order to land on a name that is right for your barbershop or a salon business. And to get more different barbershop marketing ideas just like this, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. This way you will be notified every time I release a new video on this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.